Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some more vintage jewelry. Now, this is what I picked up the other day. I know it has some items missing. Not sure. It looks kind of like dyed halite. This one's chipped. But I liked the theme of it. Thought it was interesting. The little tree thing and the way that it just is put together. I thought it was pretty cool. But I didn't see any markings, which is fine, but these are all chipped. I definitely think it's howlite, but um, I could take them out and replace them all together with something more, you know, instead of trying to match them. Plus, they're, some of them are broken, so I'd rather just replace it with something else. And I think I like it enough to do that. So we shall see. So I'm making some more craft lots and some wearable lots. Now, this looks like it's got a little crack in it. So this would go in a craft lot. This has a little bit of wear. Why it has a very light cartouche. Oh, it's, it's the one I can't pronounce. Deplaws, deplays, the craft. Same with this one. It's got some damage up in there. This is like a scarf clip, which isn't bad. I I think that's a ceramic what does that say? Jerry Lou. Hmm. So I would put that in a wearable. What did I do? This clearly doesn't belong on here. I know my nails are super blinged out. They're mismatched. You know, I use the the press-ons and I just took from different ones, whatever fits. Hey, yeah. This has a bit of a, a bit wear. So craft. This, I can't tell if somebody painted it or, you know, did it come like this? Or did somebody just spray paint it? I put it in the craft. This has a lot of wear, but I think I have the other earrings, so I'd rather put them together even if they're gonna go in the craft. This I can't give up because the little antique shop that I love, that I will be going to again, um, that I was getting my awesome bags from, she somewhere, by a miracle I might find it, has the other piece of the belt buckle thing. So I will not give up hope on that. This is cute. That's wearable. That's premier design. Guys, it's a miracle that I remember that. This looks like Sarah, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's wearable, but why am I out of focus? Holy granola. You see that? It's blurry as all heck. There you go. Hope it wasn't me. Oh, I know where this other earring is. This is definitely wearable. Oh, it's a pin pendant. That's nice. 
See, this is old and it probably doesn't work. Would you put it in the crafts? I don't know. It's so cool. It's not workable, so I'm going to have to craft it. This is just one earring that I was holding out, hoping to find the other one, and I did not. So, I think it has a name on the back. It has a name, Sterling. <laughs> so that's going to go in the craft. You can make a pendant out of that. This is in good shape, I believe. Let's get a close-up on the stones. Yeah, the stones are there. There's no name in there. Or on the pin, you know, sometimes like um, Cremants, that brand really likes to do that on the pin part. And that's easily overlooked. This is really cool, but it is, let's see, it's got a really dark stone in there, I think, and the paint job's a little bit off, so I would put this in the crafts. I think, I don't know why these earrings are in here, because I'm not selling them. I think I just put them in here to, so I can remember where they are. <laughs> and no wonder things always get broken, you know what I mean? The way that things get attached to each other is like absurd. No, I'm not getting rid of these. My husband bought me these. It's got a little carved figure in there. I've had them forever. It's like a woman, it's, it's hard to see it, but I love them. I'm not getting rid of them. I'm thinking I should put this Ten Commandments thing in my booth. What do you think? I'm going to put it, see how it does. If it hangs out too long, goodbye. These are... Some heavy sterling earrings, Mexico, with the uh, turquoise. You would definitely need the um, the different backs. These I don't think there's only one on here, but I don't think that would suffice. You need those ones that are for heavy earrings. So, maybe I'll put these in my booth also. Right? What else we got up in here? Oh, this. I didn't realize when I bought it that it had missing stones. And the color, you know, the paint is a little bit off. Oh. So it's going to have to be crafted. Somebody can maybe repurpose it or I think I'm going to put these in my booth too because I didn't have any and these match. So here are the shoe clips. I didn't have any in there. This is a pin. And I could swear I had earrings but the thing is it's in kind of bad shape but if i find the earrings i can put it all together this is one earring and i love this this color oh i just love the look of it so i was thinking if i could just make a little loop and make it a pendant that I would love it. This is, let's say KG or KO. I'm gonna put this in crafts.
this I can't get rid of either. I can't, I can't. Because I have this fantasy about fixing this to the point where it could be worn as a necklace because I love the old enamel, the little belts. I don't think I have the other side of this, but it's so beautiful. Especially that turquoise blue enamel against with the dark blue. Can't get rid of it. Can't. If one day I just give up and say, you know, the heck with it, it will go bye byes. And I'll give up. This, I think. I think this is gold filled little cutie. Let's take a look. Sorry if there's a distraction with my blingy thumbnails. Come on. I'm pretty sure this is gold filled. It's got a little dent in it, but it is gold filled. But still, even if it's a little dented, as long as this thing works. Yep, yeah, it works. It's going to go in the wearable because it's cute. Come on. Cute and vintage. This appears to be in good shape. So it's wearable. Dollar going bananas. This is a Coro chain, nice and heavy. Still wearable. It's just a little, you just need to. Straighten that out. You know what I'm saying. This is a tooled leather wearable brooch. Oh, here's the other earring. I don't know what this. Little glass beads because it's kind of heavy. This is ceramic, I think. I'm gonna say they're wearable, right? Pretty with the hair up, I'm assuming. Hmm. This is cute. If it has all the pearls. Oh, no. I'm gonna put it in the craft. not missing anything. I'm going to go with the wearable. What do you think? This thing is puzzling. I was thinking maybe I'll put it in my booth because it's pressed glass or fused glass. Something like that. Reminds me of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory because, you know, when it had that the everlasting gobstopper machine and also the other machine which stamped down these imprints of these candies and stuff yeah it's pressed glass made me put in the booth like i said if it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't go anywhere this is pretty but it's got a lot of wear it's got a little chunk of mother of pearl in there but i'm gonna put it in the not wearable. These, all the stuff is coming out. There's two of them. They're beautiful. I'm going to put them in the wear, not wearable, the craft, the repurposing box. Just a chain. This is wearable. Very 80s, I think, right? That's wearable. 
think I have another one like this. It's a different shape arrow. It's like gold, um, gold tone and a little bit southwestern, I would say. Can anybody say southwestern anymore? Oh, 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 oh. Something going loose. Look at this. This looks really old and vintage. What does it say on there? Uh, I know I said bring down the thing. So now I'm going to bring it and see if I could see what that is. It's trying to focus on nothing. It says sterling. That would be interesting. Uh, I see it looks like Howard or H at W A R D at the bottom. I mean, at the end of it. So it just seems super old because it's got the C clasp. Yeah, that's as close up as I'm gonna look at my dirty thingy here. Hey, look at the bling. There it is. It's Hayward or something. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's... I guess it's not sterling. I mean, I could try to, you know, buff it up and uh, see if anything happens with it. What's this? Nothing. This is glass. That's wearable. It's cool. A wearable ladybug. Ladybug. <gasps> this is a broken one, and they're super cool. I think they're, yeah, Germany. Look at these. But it broke. That's going to go in craft. Oh, I love those too. Shoot. This is pretty. A little cloisonne bracelet. Let's see if it's, I don't think it's gold filled, but it doesn't hurt to take a look just in case. And it is gold filled. That could go on the wearable. Um, somebody posted today about something that was cloisonne look. Now, cloisonne um, is really actually wires. You would be able to see flattened wires with the enameling inside. So this definitely looks like real cloisonne. You could see the separation of, of the wires, things like that. And when cloisonne became popular, see there's a little bit of breakage there, but still really pretty and it's gold filled. Uh, when it became really popular and it was expensive cloisonne, and so they started to make cloisonne looking things and you've seen them i don't have an example in front of me but you've seen the cloisonne look uh items this has wear on it but yeah real cloisonne is really pretty this is just This is from Keep Collective. It's one of those rings where you can slip the little charms on. Oh yeah, here's the earring that goes with that fabric, but it's in bad shape, but I'm gonna put it in the craft. This is, I'm gonna go with vintage New York pin some 
paint that's got some wear on it. This is also kind of worn. Mm. Craft. Craft repurpose. I wonder if I have the other one of this because this is cool. It doesn't have a name. I'm surprised because it's very nicely made. No. I guess I don't have it. Well, let me put it to the side for a minute. What's this? Let's see. Oh, it's not a dark stone. It's a purple stone. But it's dark. I think it's like a lavender. That is the Bow Dragon's Breath. Yeah, it's not in the greatish of shapes because it's um got faux pearls too and you can see that the luster has gone that can go in the craft back it up okay i think i'll have to continue this later because i have to go back to work but um i went to of course where i have my booth and i went there was a big sale in the parking lot and I saw this it's a carved acrylic statue <sighs> my phone was ringing sorry um really cool and I just had to have it and this is the maker, uh, Peggy, I think it's M-A-C-H, 1976. I just thought it was cool. I mean, does it qualify as bedroom art? I don't know. Well, that's it. I'm glad you could join me, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Let me know if you need anything. If you emailed me and you wanted a craft lot or, or a, what do you call it? Um, where of a lot, I'm writing a list, so I will get to you soon. Thanks, bye.